So this is the um, patch installation on the bag. So this is normally how I purchase my bag, get them mailed out to me. And uh, they're nice, durable, heavy bags. I can make my own bags, but cost-wise and time-wise, it just doesn't always work out. So right now, this is the um, tan or brown bag. It's already got some weird, crappy leather logo on it, which um, I get the first chance, I uh, remove it, cut it off. Got magnetic snaps, which are nice, and the interior. Nice heavy pockets, nice heavy, you know, good zipper, good heavy material. I've uh, vetted these for um, over a year before I even decided to start carrying the line. So these come in three different colors. We have one in black. It's kind of not a black black, but more like a uh, charcoal black. And then we've got one that comes in gray. Uh, and then we have the one that you see here in brown. Um, we've got the two ingresses for the nylon buckles, nylon and leather on the corner. Um, so what I try to do is figure out where best, uh, we're gonna put the Vault-Tec patch on. So I gotta figure out where the best this is gonna go. And as long as I don't hit this rivet, we're okay. Um, and we're just about the right size between the this right here. And we're not going to be stitching in there anyways. Um, so pretty much I'm liking the way that looks. I like the brown. Uh, and then I've got another patch I worked on last night uh, that's all done up and painted and weathered. Sorry, I had it upside down. This is Vault Tech. Um, I'm in the, uh, a Facebook group called, uh, what is it called? It's called Everything Fallout. Um, and it's a, uh, Basically, everybody posts up what they like and stuff. And so I put it out there uh, the other night. I said, hey, what's the best vault number? And I was going to put the vault number in the center here. And this is a 3D printed stamp. So this is the stamp that I used. And there's the leather. And then I hand painted it and installed all the vault tech on it and stuff. And we're going to stitch this onto the bag as well. So I was hoping that somebody would say, hey, you know, vault this number is the best vault. So I was gonna put those numbers in the middle. Nobody ever got back to me, so I'm like, forget it. We're just gonna, we're gonna wing it. So overall position, I like it. Um, I'll glue this, tack it down. I was also thinking about putting some rivets in it just for effect. I've got these gnarled rivets that I think would look kind of cool. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna install it like that. And that's pretty much the way it's gonna go. It's gonna be in about that position. And we're just gonna stitch this on initially, and then we're gonna take this, we're gonna glue that on, and then I'm gonna go back through and stitch it on, and then that's gonna be the finished piece. And it'll be ready. And I was thinking about also doing a, maybe uh, a Nuka-Cola uh, leather, I've done a leather piece before that said Nuka Cola on it. Do it up in red, tool it, and then uh, paint it. You know, paint it red, and then stitch it on the bag as well. Um, again, a lot of times I get over early. You know, I just get in, catched up in it. So that's pretty much the approach we're going to go with it, and uh, we'll see how it all comes out. Uh, I'm going to use uh, black stitching, or maybe brown stitching. Maybe we'll do brown. Do brown here and brown on this 
or different colors, I'm not sure. I was actually thinking about maybe doing white on this, but uh, get this all put together and we're just gonna stitch right through this patch and uh, put it right on the top there and we'll stitch through it and it'll all be one unified piece and then we'll see how it goes. And then I might also do the vault Tech or the, the, the Nuka-Cola uh, red bottle cap patch over on the corner. But I think this is actually more than enough. And uh, that's where we're gonna go. So the next thing you see will be that. The bag is done. Um, threw some stills up prior to this little ending interaction. Um, the uh, stitching went okay. Um, there's a little bit of animation in there of the stitch monster uh, raising its head and uh, giving me some crap. Have no clue what happened. Um, don't know. So. Luckily I knew how to fix it, it was nothing big, just big, I just took my seam stripper, ripper and tore out the line and the, the stitching and dropped in a new stitch, went around, added the next one, added the rivets to it. Um, a little choppy, I actually jumped over and started doing the work before I even grabbed my camera and moved it over. Um, thanks again for coming and watching this. I'm gonna be doing the, I'm gonna order a new bag for, uh, for Mr. Rick Sanchez here. I'm gonna get this put onto a bag um, and I'll show that little video. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some more stuff, just trying to make shorter videos so that maybe people would actually be interested in watching them. Because when I drop in a 16 minute one, not uh, I, I just see they're not popular, so I, I get it, I get it. Uh, so this one was pretty short and sweet and like, subscribe, uh, let me know what you think, tell me your thoughts, tell me if I'm an idiot for the way I do it, uh, tell me that you like it, uh, whatever, it's a dialogue, that's what I like, that's what I'm, you know, that's kind of why I'm doing this whole thing. Um, again, thanks a lot for being here, have a great night.